Welcome to the Spiritual Transformation Series podcast with your host, author, and pastor, Dennis Lee of Living Waters Fellowship Church, located in Mesquite, Nevada. Good morning. Today's podcast is entitled, Faith Supports Where Reason Fails, and is about how our faith supports us when our reason fails to explain what is going on in the world around us. God is not like anything or anyone else. You might say that God is incomprehensible. We see this throughout history, especially within the Bible, where those who wrote of their experiences with God used the language of simile. That is where God is likened to something we already know or have experienced, but is different. In Ezekiel chapter 1, 26 through 28, the prophet Ezekiel saw a vision of God. There were no words that could describe what he saw. He had no frame of reference, so he used the language of simile, likening what he saw as a throne. And above this throne was the appearance of a man, but not a man. Now, earlier in Ezekiel 1, verses 5 through 8, he describes the likeness of four living creatures that had the appearance of men, (laughs) but they were nothing like a human being, in that they had four heads, four wings with hands underneath, and straight legs with calves hooves as feet. Therefore, when we look at Ezekiel's vision, what we see is that Ezekiel saw the likeness and the appearance of God's glory, but not the Lord God himself because of what the Lord said to Moses, as found in Exodus 33, 20, where the Lord said, no one may see me and live. And so to say that man was made in the appearance of God, it doesn't mean in the physical sense or the exact image of. This would make man a replica of God and reduce God in our minds to our status. That is, make God into a human being, which is something we must never do, because that is idolatry. We can never reduce God down to something that we can understand and grasp because when we do, we begin to or desire to manage him. And that's because of our fallen sinful nature that always seems to want to have some measure of control. So how can we believe when there's no point of reference, no framework to attach our understanding to? Well, we do so through Jesus Christ, who is God and the exact representation of God. In the Gospel of John, chapter 14, verse 9, Jesus said, Anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. Jesus also said in Matthew eleven twenty seven, 27, No one knows the Father except the Son, and those to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. So when we can't reason out God or what he is doing in our lives, we must revert to faith, knowing that faith is the substance of things hoped for. And here's the issue. Here's the point. The evidence of those things we cannot quite see or understand. And this is found in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. So let's take time to be in God's word and let God's word be our starting point, our frame of reference, so that when things happen in our lives that we don't quite get or understand, We can have faith believing that God has it all under control. And so faith in God and in his word takes over and supports when all of our reasoning fails. May God bless you this day. Take care and God bless. Repentance is a purposeful change of direction. It's a sincere commitment on our part to forsake our sins and purposely walk in obedience with God's word. Pastor Dennis Lee expounds on this concept in his book, Wells of Living Water. For further information, go to spiritualtransformationseries.com. Pastor Dennis Lee is the senior pastor of Living Waters Fellowship in Mesquite, Nevada, and has been called a practical theologian making doctrine simple to understand and easy to apply. His 333 devotionals are where biblical doctrine and discipleship meet to encourage and inspire the reader to make a difference for Christ in the world around them. These daily devotionals, along with thoughts, tweets, and sermons, can be found on Living Waters Fellowship page, www.mesquitelivingwaters.com.